Example 1.8 Two point charges Q1 and Q2 of magnitude 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb and minus 10 raised to minus 8 coulomb respectively are placed 0 0.1 meter apart. So here we have plus and minus charge and the distance between them is 10 centimeter that is 0 0.1 meter. Calculate the electric fields at point A where is point A here at point A at point B and at point C at all these three points we have to find the electric field. Now we know that if we have charge Q then at distance R the electric field is given by equation KQ by R square we will use this to solve this question. Now for point A which is lying between plus charge and minus charge now we know that the positive charge the electric field comes out or it is radially away from the positive charge and for negative charge it is towards the negative charge okay so if I have this positive charge here then at this point the electric field is away from the charge and if I have negative charge here then electric field is towards the negative charge so at point A the electric field due to Q1 is towards right side okay and the electric field due to this negative charge is also towards right side right so the direction of this field is same hence we can add these two vectors so the electric field at point a is the vector sum of electric field due to positive charge plus the electric field due to negative charge so electric field due to positive charge is given by equation k q1 by r square so what is the distance between the point and the charge is 0 0.05 right so i have put all the data the value of k the value of q and this 0 0.05 square so the electric field due to positive charge at this point is 3.6 into 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb and it's towards right direction now the electric field due to negative charge is k q2 by r square so all the numbers are same so resultant will be same 3.6 into 10 raised to 4 or 10 raised to 4 and it is also towards right direction right so as the two vectors are equal as the two vectors are equal and they are in the same direction we can add them directly okay so e plus plus e minus is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to 4 plus 3.6 into 10 raised to 4 it is 7.2 into 10 raised to 4 and the resultant is also towards right side now we are interested to find the electric field at point b due to this two charge now what will happen this positive charge will produce electric field towards right side whereas the negative charge will produce electric field towards left side because electric field due to positive charge is away from the charge and due to negative charge is towards the negative charge okay so here this electric field is due to positive charge and this electric field is due to negative charge so angle between them is 180 now so electric field at point b so electric field due to positive charge plus electric field due to negative charge this is towards left side this is towards right side now we know that electric field is given by equation kq by r square so kq1 and the distance between point b and charge 1 is 0 0.05 and the distance between point b and charge 2 is 0 0.05 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 so it is 0 0.15 so it is 0 0.15 square and why negative sign because both fields are directed in the opposite direction that is angle is 180 so now this we have obtained earlier right so it is 3.6 into 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb now putting the value of k here 9 into 10 raised to 9 value of q2 is 10 raised to minus 8 and 0 0.15 square is 2.25 into 10 raised to minus 4 on solving this we will get 3.6 into 10 raised to 4 and on solving this it is 0 0.4 into 10 raised to 4 so 3.6 minus 0 0.4 see to add or subtract two number their power should be same okay so 3.6 minus 0 0.4 is 3.2 and 10 raised to 4 is common so it is 3.2 into 10 raised to 4 newton per coulomb and this field is acting towards left now let us find the electric field at point c so here what is happening see this is an equilateral triangle okay now on this equilateral triangle right here we have it is an imaginary triangle here we have point c so this positive charge will produce electric field along this direction that is away from charge and the negative charge will produce electric field along this direction that is towards the charge so let us call this electric field as e plus and let us call this electric field as e minus and the angle between these two is 120 why 120 because this is 60 degree it is an equilateral triangle okay now the uh, point c is located at 0 0.1 meter from charge q 
and this is also zero this distance is also 0.1 and also the magnitude of both the charge are same means whatever the electric field produced by this charge that is positive charge at point c the same electric field is produced by this uh, charge that is negative charge at point c means this two fields are equal but one is directed along a to c and one is directed along c to b and the angle between them is 120 if this field is e and this is also e right then the resultant will be under root e square plus e square plus 2 e square cos 120 right now cos 120 is minus 1 by 2 so if you solve this you will get again resultant as e okay so let me show you calculation here so e at point c so electric field at c is equals to res uh, vector sum of e plus plus e minus as both have same magnitude okay so there is uh, the electric field due to any of the charge at this point is kq by 0 0.1 square okay 0 0.1 is the distance okay so k is 9 into 10 raised to 9 value of charge is 10 raised to minus 8 and 0 0.1 square is 10 raised to minus 2 so it is 9000 newton per coulomb as the two vectors are equal and the angle between them is 120 the resultant is also e right that is 9000 newton per coulomb and is acting towards right